What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. As y'all coming in, y'all smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you ain't already subscribed. Now, before I run into the barbershop, I wanted to make this video. And I'm a, it's another one I want to make, too, or whatever. But with this one, man, so I've been scrolling down YouTube, been watching videos or whatever. And I ran across this Malik Scott interview. And... I'm wondering why am I, why is people keep asking Malik Scott this same question? Like it's multiple people keep asking him this question for whatever reason, but I didn't heard a few different answers from Malik Scott at this point. But this last time I heard him say something to me, it feel like because he said his honest opinion. So my honest opinion, it just feel like like he folded what he felt like the first time. So now he just going with what everybody else saying. And I don't like that. So we're going to talk about it. So the first interview I heard from Lee Scott was that he don't want to hear no slandering of Earl Spencer, Derrick James, because he cutting you off. And it feels like you hating, right? So I agree with that. But then one week later, now he's saying that Earl Spencer shouldn't move up to 154 should hang him up or something like that because the rematch would be worse than it was the first time. So it's like, <laughs> you better off just sticking with what you said. Now you fold it because everybody else saying it. It's like, it's crazy to me. So this is what I want to say. I, I want to I want to know this answer, and I would wonder if one of these people that be interviewing would ask Malik Scott this. When Malik Scott fought Deontay Wilder, Yes, he fought them for the people that's new and don't know that they actually fought before. They both heavyweights. Malik Scott is now Deontay Wilder trainer, but he also fought Wilder early on. And when he fought Wilder, I want to say, did he want to hang him up after he fought Wilder? Did When he got hit with that fake punch, because it wasn't, he didn't get hit. On everything. I, I didn't sink this slow mode 0 0.5. I didn't sink the slowest mode it can go. He didn't get touched by Wilder, but he faked like he was down, uh, act like he was sleeping, hurt, and he, he didn't get hit with the punch. So, what was that about? What, what, what was that? Did you want to retire to the fake punch? Or what was that? So I got something even better. If you don't want to answer that question, I got something a little bit better than that. Okay, I got another one. When Wilder got beat by... No, no, he didn't get beat, but it was a draw. When Wilder fought Fury the first time, right? Guess what happened? Because to me, I'm the one that had the surgery, but it seemed like these people's memory... I'm, my memory is a lot better than theirs. It's crazy. So... When, after that fight with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, right? Let me take a sip. Got that good fruit juice. After them dudes fought, man, Andre Ward came out and did exactly, I'm talking about like exactly what, what, uh, Malik Scott just said about Earl Spence. Andre Ward did that exact thing. What you think happened to Andre Ward when he said that? For the people that remember, Andre Ward said that T Wilder, he don't want that no more because it's going to be worse. So he don't think he want that. So it was like he was questioning his heart, his will and everything like that. And guess what happened to Andre Ward? He got crushed for that. Like a lot of backlash for that because people who ride with Wilder, like what you mean? He shouldn't fight him again. Like, it's like you questioning the man hard over the white man, blah, blah, blah. So people don't remember that, huh? Okay. So that happened. Right? So did you not feel like Wilder should have never fought Fury again? And then after what happened the second fight? Did you not? Why, why did you train him for the third? If you already seen what happened when and two, why did you train Wilder for the third fight? So that's what I'm saying. Like, like it's crazy to me, man. Because one thing I'm not going to do, 
is let these people come out here and crush Earl Spence and try to bury bruh and, and kick him while he, he you know, he probably ain't even down, but the fact that he lost, kick him while he got an L, you heard me? After we just spent years on saying how these guys was the best versus the best. One and two. One A, one B. We've been saying this for hours, bro. So now, you think I'm going to let y'all just crush, bro? Like, hell no, man. We don't even play like that. No. So that's my thing with my least guy. It ain't really no thing. It is my honest opinion. <laughs> That's what he said. He said, my honest opinion is, Earl Spencer, it would be worse if you fought Terrence Crawford at 154. Like, what you mean, bro? Like, that's crazy, bro. But that's his honest opinion. I gave him my honest opinion. I feel like, shit, you trained Wilder for the third fight. So why did you do that? If, if you just seen what happened in one and two, what you thought he still had a chance? What what the story is about the spite water? What, what all that was true? What, what's up with that? So y'all got answers to answer y'all self who acting like y'all dudes ain't got no damn skeletons in the closet. <laughs> you heard me? Like y'all ain't just do that for the bad. You heard me? Wilder still fight after he took them L's from Fury. Why? Because he a dog, he a warrior. He a fighter, he a boxer, bro. We don't never hear nobody who lose basketball games talking about, man, you should retire after the mind dunked on you with his nuts in your face. 20, 40 points tonight, you should retire. But boxing these dudes, man, you take an air, you have a bad night. It looked like he was weight drain. He couldn't perform. He couldn't react to the shots coming. He couldn't block certain shots. Do the whatever was wrong with him. You don't even want to see the man correct. Well, what you mean? It's his first L. Why you don't think he want his get back, bro? So it's crazy to me, man. But yeah, man. I just had to make a video about this. I'm like, huh? You just said this. Now you see. <laughs> but whatever, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, these dudes who be interviewing people, you better off interviewing us YouTubers. I do an interview. Hit me up. I, I do one. I don't care about coming on nobody's channel. I don't care about none of that. I def especially if I rock with you, already know. So I'm just saying, bro. Like, you been asking these dudes? These dudes crazy, man. But it is what it is, man. I'm going to this barbershop, man. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, you subscribe already. And I'm out. Deuces.